Kane, UFC Bantam champion of the world, beat Ronda Rousey way back when. The upcoming fight's going to be huge at the Barclays Center. Holly Holm, do you remember this in 2015? She shocked the world when Ronda went down. A lot of people weren't expecting that. She is back in the ring in February. Welcome, Holly Holm, back to Good Day New York. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. Are you psyched to play at uh, or to fight in Brooklyn? I am. It's, it's awesome. You know, it's... Uh, it's definitely a, a big opportunity for me and just to be part of something, um, you know, something that's historic. So, so great. what do you do to prepare? Because after the fight uh, with Rhonda, uh, things didn't go exactly great no, after that. Right. No, we had a few losses, but yep. I mean, you're still standing, yeah, right? that's right. You know, I've never been in this spot before. I'm with two losses um, in a row. I've never had that in my life. I've had a loss and come back, um, and here we are, but... So what do you think? What, how do you explain that? What, what, were you just psyched out? What, what happened? I think there's uh, twofold. I think, I mean, at this, the, this point in, in the career, you're not fighting just anybody. They're all very capable of winning. Um, I do feel like I had the capability to, to win both of those fights. I feel like um, maybe my lack of focus wasn't there during the fight. I had a great training camp, no excuses. Uh, great training camp, but sometimes it comes down to just how, how you're performing that night. and. And it's all on the line right there, so. How yeah. much, if at all, have you talked to um, Rhonda? I haven't talked to her. Um, After that fight, that was it. I mean, like, no, no right? Yeah, that was it. I mean, yeah. not, not because there's There's any, no animus. No ill will yeah. or anything like that, just. How did you get into this stuff? Um, I started doing like, kickboxing aerobics. I like that. I saw the sparring classes, thought I'd try that. And then I thought I want to try a fight, just see how it goes. and. Next thing you know, it was turned into a career, so. Wow. So there's talk that if you win this fight at the Barclays Center in February, that maybe, maybe there may be a rematch with you and Rhonda. Would you, you know, like I think, that? I think that, I mean, I, I, I would love any, any fight. I mean, it, right now I have Jermaine in front of me. Right now she has Amanda Nunez in front of her, and so I feel like it's, you know, it's just, um, there's a lot that can happen between December 30th and February 11th. And I mean, we could we could talk about what could happen. Well, but what could happen? <laughs> well, I mean, if if Amanda wins the fight, then that changes a lot with the you know kind of some of the excitement for the rematch. Who knows? Or if Ronda wins, you know, I still need to do my job and win. I mean, there's there's a lot that can take place between now and then. Can so, we see that poster one more time, please? There's a poster of the upcoming fight. All right, tell us about your opponent. She's actually an inch taller than me. That's usually not the case. I'm usually not fighting someone taller than me. So and is that a problem? No, they're just, it's just different. I mean, they're, it's just, uh, she, she's definitely a, uh, a skilled fighter. She's well-rounded. She's a kind of more, you know, her background's more stand-up fighter as myself. Mm -hmm. So you say that you're in camps now for training camp. Monday through Friday, whether it be, you know, an MMA sparring day or, you know, big glove sparring day or wrestling or grappling or whatever, go back at night at least three nights a week for some more training. And in between that, I have, you know, uh, running. I run five days a week, uh, mitt work with my coach, um, private lessons with my jiu-jitsu, and uh, it's, it's, every day is multiple. No holiday pig out with food? Yeah, you know, I... I'm actually not too, I got Thanksgiving. I got to do a lot of Thanksgiving, so I'm okay. <laughs> hey, you're a professional athlete, and I hear from uh, the closest thing we have to one, Duke and his friend, what's his friend, the kicker? Oh, Steve Weatherford. They all say it's 80% diet, is that true? Not really. For fighting, I think it's 80% mental. 80% <laughs> mental, really? really? Oh, it's How can we psych out your opponent? We want you to win. Oh, I'm, I like that. Anything we can do? <laughs> you know what? How about this? Show up at Barclays and boo her. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, Holly, is there a certain move that you have that's like your trademark move? I mean, I think a lot of people, if they had to look, it's the, you know, my left leg roundhouse because I've had a few uh, knockouts from it, but it's definitely not something that I, like, look for when I go into a fight. It's just kind of been there. Have you ever gotten into a fight with a man? In practice, every day. Every day. <laughs> and you beat them. I try to. She's <laughs> looking at you, goal. Greg. No, it's amazing. She's, She's just, looking at you, it's Greg. It's just amazing what you're capable of doing. Holly Holm, good luck in February, Thank okay? So Again, much. we're rooting for you. Thank All right, you. tickets now on sale at the Barclays Center for the, the, the match?
I believe Absolutely, so. Absolutely, there are still tickets <laughs> I available. I totally believe that. Okay, thanks so much, Holly. All the best. All right, one of the most exclusive restaurants in the world is Rayo's. It's